Yeah, you can be the greatest, you can be the best You can be the King Kong banging on your chest You can beat the world, you can win the war You can talk to God, go banging on his door You can throw your hands up, you can beat the clock You can move a mountain, you can break rocks Some will call it practice, some will call it luck But either way, you're going to the history book Standing in the Hall of Fame You can run the mile, you can walk straight through hell with a smile. So today we are going to be asking seniors if they want one of Gigi's cookies, and if they don't, we're going to double it and give it to the next person until we run out of cookies. Do you want one of Gigi's cookies, or do you want us to double it and give it to the next person? Yeah, I'm going to feel bad if I take Gigi's cookies, but they are Gigi's cookies, so i got to take one. Jesse, do you want one of Gigi's cookies, or do you want us to double it and give it to the next person? Uh, double it and give it to the next person. Logan, had a question. We're at two cookies right now. Do you want two of Gigi's cookies, or do you want us to double it and give it to the next person? Are you gonna come back? Are you gonna come back to me, or? Uh, maybe. Well, how long? Well, it depends. Like, if you don't take them right now, you may just get one cookie instead of two. But if who you can, gonna, who are you gonna ask next? I don't know. We're just gonna ask seniors today. After about three more, come back and tell me. Like that way, I'll get how many cookies is that? Be like thirty-eight, or something thirties maybe. All right, so we're doubling uh, it and giving it to the next person. I guess. <laughs> All right. Double and give it to the next person. All right. Double. Man, nobody's wanting Gigi's cookies. Um, I'll double it and give it to the next. God. Okay, thirty-two cookies. Double it. Holy crap. Okay, 64. We might have to buy more of Gigi's cookies. I think we only got 100, so if we have to double one more time, we might be going a little overboard. <laughs> All right, Walker, we are at 64 of Gigi's cookies. Do you want the cookies, or do you want to double it and give it to the next person? I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> Mark, it's time that we got to count out 64 cookies. <laughs> this is not going to be fun. <laughs> So, Logan, you obviously just saw that all 64 cookies got taken. How do you feel about that now that you know you could have got two cookies and now if we ask you, you can only get one? Well, Carson, I'll tell you, I mean, it's a little bittersweet because he may have got all cookies, but I'm still eating them, you know. We have, we have Coach Hart's class next. Really, those are mine because I kept passing them on. I think if you guys didn't ask me first, those are my cookies. Honestly, I'll just get them next year. I'm just, I'm just blessed to be here in Fountain County, and I love these cookies. Amen. Amen. When I was six years old, I broke my leg And I was running from my brother and his friends And tasted the sweet perfume of the mountain grass I rolled down when I was younger then Take me back to when I found my heart Broke it here, made friends and lost them through the years. And I've not seen the boring. Drake, how do you plan on bettering the lives of the citizens of Blue Ridge? Wow, okay. I see. Sleepy Drake will ruin this city. Have a heart. Vote Mark. In fields and so long I know I've grown. But I can't wait to go home.
So we got some of Gigi's cookies. Would you want one or do you want us to double it and give it to the next person? You should double it. You didn't even have to ask me the other one. Double one. We're doubling again. Here we go. Logan, we're at four cookies again. Do you want four cookies or do you want to risk doubling it again and us maybe come back to you? Well, Carson, frankly, the, la the last time it set me really hard. I mean, last time was that two. That is true. And this is obviously a huge upgrade for two. This is four. It's four. It's, it's a big double. deal. It's double. And Carson, honestly, I just don't, I don't think I handle no heartbreak like that. So I'm going to take the four cookies. He's going to take the four cookies. All right, we'll get you four cookies. Thank you. Victory is. This is victory. All right, Matt. So, uh, do you want one of Gigi's cookies, or do you want us to double it and pass it on to the next person? Uh, I think I'm gonna be generous, and I think I'm gonna pass it on. You have one of mine, bro. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Joe, we're up to two cookies now. Um, do you want two of Gigi's cookies, or do you want to double it and pass it on to the next person? I want two of Gigi's cookies. Joe wants two of Gigi's cookies. <laughs> But one day the time may come And I'll take you at your word and carry on I'll hate the goodbye But I won't forget the good times My favorite moment during high school was when I was in my car, or er, in a friend's car, and we went to McDonald's, and we, we got like food, and they had this cinnamon roll, because you know, your boy loves cinnamon rolls, uh, and we were eating in the parking lot, and it just fell out of my hands. <laughs> Judd Eugene Watson, community member, friend, family member, local school hero, and town treasure. But is Judd hiding a truly dark secret? Yesterday at around 3.30 p.m. in a McDonald's parking lot, Judd Watson dropped a cinnamon roll. During his time eating the roll, he offered it to his friend when the roll fell out of his hand. Some say it fell, others say he tossed it. All that we know is there's a roll face down and Judd hasn't been seen in days. We're currently walking to the Fannin County CTAE building where most of Judd's classes are conducted. So we're gonna ask a few of Judd's classmates, teachers, friends, associates, if they've seen or heard Judd in the last few days. Hi, I'm Lance Stewart. Lance, do you think that this man, Judd Eugene Watson, is dangerous? Absolutely. This man, he is just one of the most dangerous people in this entire school. He just has that look in his eye. He's a very dangerous man. Can we ask you a few questions right quick? Sure. Do you think that this man here is dangerous, Judd Eugene Watson? Only if your actions cause him to be. I don't know what that means. Let's go on and ask someone else. All right, we got another senior over here. We got Alex. Alex, can we ask you a few questions if you're not too busy? Yeah, that's fine. Do you know this man here, Judd Eugene Watson? Yeah, yeah, I know Judd. Do you think he's dangerous? I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm a little scared of Judd myself sometimes. So. I'm here to ask you, do you think that Judd Watson is able of committing horrible deeds against humanity? I mean, look into his eyes and your own soul stares back at you. There's, there's nothing in there. It's a cold, dead killer. Bryce? Lately, I've been, I've been losing sleep. Dreaming about the things that we could be. But baby, I've been, I've 
I've been praying hard Said no more counting dollars We'll be counting stars Yeah, we'll be counting stars Like a swinging vine, swing my heart across the line. In my face is flashing signs. Seek it out and ye shall find. Old, but I'm not that old. Young, but I'm not that bold. And I don't think the world is sold. I'm just doing what we're told. Citizen suffering, the world on fire. Only one man can save us. And no, I'm not talking about those other idiotic candidates. Mark Hartman will clean up this city. With Mark Hartman's genius policies, this city's economy will skyrocket. Mark Hartman has what it takes to take care of our city. Now, I'm not gonna tell you who to vote for, but vote Mark. I'm Pam Patterson, and I approve this message. Feeling my way through the darkness, guided by a beating heart. I can't tell where the journey will end, but I know where to start. They tell me I'm too young to understand They say I'm caught up in a dream Well, life will pass me by if I don't open up my eyes So well, that's fine by me So wake me up day like eight or nine of the Judd Watson investigation. I'm about to go in and ask a few of Judd's classmates some questions, try to get to the bottom of it. Maybe we'll find Judd, maybe we won't. Do you think that Judd Eugene Watson is dangerous? Yes. Thank you, Levi. Thank you. Jackson, do you think that Judd Watson is dangerous after working with him at Taco Bell for all these years? Well, don't give him a box cutter, that's all I say. What do you mean by that? What has he done with that box cutter? Atrocious things have happened in that box with the box cutter and in the walk-in cooler. It's, it, I can't explain to it. There were boxes everywhere that day. They were everywhere. It's okay, Jackson. They were it's everywhere. All right. It's all right. So what Jackson is pretty much saying is Judd is a menace to society and a danger to us. Oh, oh, hey, hey, get it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Hey, we're still shooting. Get him, get him. He's running, he's running, he's running. I'm here with Jacob Phillips. Jacob was a local detective on the Judd Watson Seminole incident. Uh, Jacob, can you give us any evidence about you know it being Judd? Do you have any anything to say about it? The fingerprints. The fingerprints? They were fingerprints on the roll? Yep. And all over the area. All, all over the area. Hey, 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 get him. Hey, come on, come on, come on. Get him, get him, get him. What you say? That you only meant way mm, That it's all for <laughs> Judd, Judd, do you have anything to say? No, Judd, I didn't what know you, What you say we have it here first, folks. Judd is being loaded into some kind of... There he goes. There he goes. He's running. He's running. He's running. He's running again. It was my cinnamon roll. Okay. <laughs> 
I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I played the fifth. I know my Miranda rights. Lights flying down ten, nearly two a.m. Happiness begins. Days lifted in a haze. We were just a phase. We were just pretend. My name is Donald Trump Jr. and I am here today to let my people of Santa County know that everything will be okay if they vote for me. I will fix this county and get rid of all the tourists. And to the other candidates running against me, it's okay to be second. What? I want 20 million dollars right now! Or she dies! It's that simple. Oh no! Oh, I'm serious. Is it money you want? No! I want 20 million dollars! Alright, 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 alright. I'll give it to you. Oh, well, that's not good enough. Okay, what, what do you want from me? I want you to give me the money, and I'll give you the princess. What? You heard me! No, I'm sorry, I'm not doing that! Oh, you're a coward, Mario! I've always known that about you! I'm sorry. She dies! Logan, why should people vote for you and not for Mark? Because Mark's a Floridian, and I don't even know if he's qualified to even be for mayor. Logan Long doesn't even know what it takes to be qualified to run for mayor. Vote, Mark. Young, dumb, young, young, dumb and broke Young, dumb, broke, high school How are you doing today, sir? Pretty crappy. Why is that? Uh, it's 7.45 a.m. That's a good reason. How do you feel about the fact that we graduate real soon?
When life leaves you high and dry, I'll be at your door tonight if you need help. If you need help, I'll shut down the city lights. I'll lie, cheat, I'll beg and bribe to make you well, to make you well. When enemies are at your door, I'll carry you away from war. If you need help, if you need help, your hope dangling by a string. I'll share in your suffering to make you well, to make you well. Give me reasons to believe. And I will do it for you. For you. Baby, I'm not moving on. I'll love you long after you're gone. For you. For you. You will never sleep alone. I'll love you long after you're gone. And long after you're gone. Mark Hartman is a disgusting, lying, no good scam. If you are thinking of voting for him, here is the mental health hotline. His family has an extreme criminal record that he wants to hide from the public. In addition to his scams, Mark is not even from Georgia. Say no to a fraud in our county. Vote Donald Trump Jr. instead. Tell me one positive thing you plan to do with your May oral term. What are you doing? One thing. Can you give me one Sorry, good no, thing? Donald no. Trump can't even think of one good thing he wants to do for this city. Do you really want him as your mayor? With Mark Hartman, you'll see real changes. Be smart, man. Vote Hartman. What I've most liked about senior year is probably my senior sports seasons. My favorite thing about senior year was the cinnamon roll. I think the favorite thing about my senior year is that it's my last year. My favorite thing about senior year is the week off at the very end. My favorite thing about senior year is probably getting out. My favorite thing about senior year is it's gone by way too fast. It would have to be waking up each morning, coming in to see my friends throughout uh, first and second block, and then fourth and third. Did you write the book of love, and do you have faith in God above? If the Bible tells you so. How do you believe in rock and roll? Can music save your mortal soul? Teach me how to dance real slow. Well, I 
favorite high school memory is probably either freshman year Thescon with Todd Guerin or um, working on Bonnie and Clyde. Uh, I would have to say my favorite high school memory was when we were in uh, cooking class with Tyson and he was making uh, burgers and he literally smoked out the entire room with talky smoke. <laughs> okay, um, what is the best part of the day uh, of high go school? Going home. And, oh, flags. Racing for Electrothon. Uh, driving the road cart to school. I got a lot, but I have to say my personal favorite was being hit by Logan Martin's truck. Um, my favorite high school memory is probably uh, also my freshman year at Thescon with Todd Garrett or um, editing this year's yearbook. So my favorite memory would be my freshman year biology class with Ms. Richardson. My favorite high school memory was probably going to the Fairfield trip with DSL. My favorite high school memory was probably going to Washington, D.C. with the band and being able to march in a parade. What are we going to miss about high school? I'm going to miss Dr. Guerin, a uh, great teacher. I'm going to miss Big Bubba Gibbs. Uh, what about you, Trent? I'm going to miss Bubba Gibbs. Big Bubba, Bubba Gibbs. Gibbs. Big Bubba yes. Gibbs. Bubba. <laughs> Carson, what was the best part of senior year? Um, I would say the best part of senior year would definitely have to be the minimum classes that I had to take and how much time I really wasn't at school. My favorite high school memory was when Mr. Flowers made me and Matthew uh, drill holes for two weeks straight. We didn't get them done until the last two weeks. Uh, my favorite high school memory is when Mr. Flowers made us make our own nuts and bolts, and that also took us a week. Bubba, what's something you're not going to miss about high school? Um, not going to miss it. Um, I'm not going to miss any of this. Da, 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 da. What's one thing you're not going to miss about high school? Definitely the math, the people. Reagan, what's something you won't miss about high school? Math. Hayden, what's something that you couldn't have survived high school without? Photo math. Ivy, what are you going to miss about high school? Um, I'll probably miss soccer. That's it. All right, Orin, what is one thing you will miss from high school? It's been a lot happen here, but quite honestly, I think I'm gonna miss Mr. Uh, Mills' bald head and his Friday songs. All right, Luke, what is something you couldn't have survived high school without? Uh, I gotta be honest, I, I could have survived high school without it if I hadn't had it. But now that I've got my Mustang, every time I don't have it, I'm like, when's it coming back? What's one thing you couldn't have survived high school without? Raspies. <laughs> Gonna keep my head held high There's always gonna be another mountain I'm always gonna wanna make it move Always gonna be an uphill battle Sometimes I'm gonna have to lose It ain't about how fast I get there I'm facing the chances I'm taking sometimes I knock me down but no I'm not breaking I mean I know it but these are the 
Class of 2023. As this year finally comes to a close and we begin our preparation to enter the next part in our journey. It is almost impossible to believe just how far we have come. It's been a wild ride, but as with everything, it must eventually come to an end. As we begin to travel on our separate paths, let us remember that we will always have a home here in Fannin. And no matter the distance that we are separated, we will always have a family within the class of 2023. Let us continue our journeys and continue to achieve greatness. Congratulations, class of 2023!